Tony here and it's Tuesday so happy Tuesday so um, it feels like these Tuesday videos are so far apart but it's okay we're going to fix that in the next uh, couple of whatever weeks whatnot anyway today's video is going to be an entryway makeover for the house we've been working on the last in the last couple of videos so there's a there's this huge entryway that we are going to be making over so when I was doing that entryway I had lost my voice so I wasn't able to speak into the camera what I was doing and all that cool stuff so I'm going to walk you through the DIYs that I did and also just you know to show you how it turned out so if you are looking to do a makeover for your entryway maybe this is going to inspire you okay let's now just get into this so really ginger <laughs> This entryway had one, two, three. It had three. No, it had two DIYs and then the styling aspect of it. So the first DIY for this entryway was the table, having an entryway table. And the table we were going for wanted something that was inspired by. I'll just insert that photo. Something that was inspired by this. Hope I find that photo. So that was the inspiration for this table and um, Vivian had found this old machine so she wanted a table that's made out of the old machine you know those uh, sewing machines <laughs> those sewing machines you use your your legs to pedal not the electric ones the old school ones singer you know you, if you know you know if you know you know so um, she got she had that base already from an old uh, machine from i think it was her mom's so her mom gave her that old one so we had to go find that table bow for the top and we wanted those um those that look like the wood back thing like it's like the way after you chonga this the top part of a tree <laughs> i don't know how to explain those old i don't know they probably have a name i just don't know the name so that's what we wanted and it was so hard finding one and the first one she found um the guy was charging i think it was like five thousand bob if i'm not wrong and she was like that's too high so she said she was gonna keep looking then one day she's along gong road and she sees one on the roadside and it was attached it was like a display piece it was attached to a tree she was like that i'm going to get that and she managed to buy it for 500 bob so from 5,000 to 500 is such a major win. So that was the first thing we did. And we started off by painting the, the base black. We didn't catch that on camera because we it was being we were being helped by someone, it was being done look on J and all the cameras were indoors. So yeah, that's the, that's that. So I attached the top to the base using screws.
did not vanish it because the wood had already been vanished so it was already in good condition and then now the major ish diy was the pendant lighting so we wanted to have um vivian wanted like a show stopping entryway light so she didn't just want to just like oh another bulb she wanted something that was going to be cool something that, like when you look at it you're like wait oh so we decided to make pendant lighting out of jars like those normal jars so this was of course a collaboration between Kel and myself because Kel was the electrician his details in the description box his insta his phone number you can check him out he's a really dope electrician and he's easy to work with so for that one we we bought jars and then we had the pendant lights you can buy these pendant lights from Kari4 they are 570 bob I, I insist on this because when we went to River Road, the pendant lights were 750 and Kari4 was 570 because they are on promotion like they've been selling those tronic ones and they come in different colors so we bought we did not realize this when we were buying them <laughs> They were pearl black and then we ended up getting one that was an antique bronze by mistake so we spray painted it matte black so that they would all match and then what we did is we took the leads of the the leads of the, the one long of the jars yes the leads of the jars using a nail and uh, a hammer just first we drew the circle of the, the size of the pendant and then just went in um, knocking that putting like small holes and then putting other ones so that we could get that thing to come out to remove that thingy so that the pendant can go inside if that makes if that makes any sense so and then we spray painted them matte black because we wanted them to match with the pendants because the pendants were already black so we wanted it to be a continuous thing and then the jar would be clear so we did that and then we needed a bow to hold it so we wanted a square piece the piece we wanted was uh, we used a four by one bow and then we cut two pieces that were four yes that were four inches in length and then when we put that together it was eight by eight went in with um, the drill just to put the holes for the wiring Because these were two pieces and we wanted to hold them together, I created a frame using a one by one piece of bow. So just cut out one by ones and then just use glue and um and sand not some paper. Sawdust, Lord Jesus, and sawdust <laughs> to just you know seal everything together and have it look and be one piece. We drilled into the ceiling, we cut those question mark hooks, they're actually just hooks. We cut hooks and then uh, Kel went into the business of now just attaching the wiring and everything and that's how we ended up with this beautiful jar pendant lighting. Because we had a hint of yellow going on in the room instead of leaving the once we put the wood we realized it didn't look so pretty like not like pretty like it wasn't like oh it was just 
wood. So we decided to just do black and yellow in the middle. So we spray, we painted black on the edges and put a stripe of yellow in the middle. And that's how we ended up with the beautiful pendant, jar pendant lighting. I have a bunch of photos on each step, each step and that will be in a blog post that will be going on my blog tomorrow on how you can do a jar pendant light for yourself on a very nice budget okay it was not that expensive but that will be on my blog tomorrow with getout.com that is a sales plug but thank you for checking out the blog anyway then after that it was time to now style the area There's this beautiful rag we got from Toy Market. We got it from Bosco. I think we paid 1200. It was one on the higher ends because we really liked it. Um, and it was it's a it's a really large one, so it has this beautiful blue and white patterns. And then uh, we got this light. Uh, we got this. Yeah, it's a light from Mr. P. Uh, people call it a Mark P. I don't know why. Mr. P. Mr. Price. So Mr. P uh, and then we got the masks from the same guy we got the other masks from so and then we had a shield this shield was bought on the roadside it's made out of cow skin and then it has a bit of paint and we had that thingy for what is that thing called that one for I don't know what it's called guy it doesn't have a name. Ebu guys tell me what is this thing called? The one that's made out of Amkia. Um, the the one that old people use to bless people and stuff. I honestly have no clue what it's called. But if you do know what it's called, please let me know in the comment section below. So yeah, I put the masks on the walls and then just we put the shield as like the centerpiece and then had two of because there was the masks were skinny and i didn't want to do either one on each side because i felt like since they, they weren't exactly the same um i decided to just put them on the, the masks on one side and then have a mirror and that thingy that we don't know its name on the other side that with is some sort of balance but it's not very matchy matchy because we wanted to have a mirror in the entryway as well because i i believe i strongly believe in being able to see yourself before you leave the house and seeing yourself the moment you come back because when you leave the house you can just look at the mirror and be like oh my god i look so cute appreciate yourself but they do that it, it just it's like oh damn okay girl and then walk out trust me it, it just it will bless your mood okay it will bless your mood for that day 
So we put a mirror, we bought those Snivers ones, the ones that don't even have the audacity to be 950 bob because they're 949 shillings and we bless the heavens for that one bob. <laughs> so we put that on the entryway as well and then on the other side we added a plant just to, to play around with the height because we already had the mirror that was like long. <gasps> Power just went out. We did not spray paint the, the mirror. She wanted it to remain grey. I asked her, initially I wanted to spray paint it matte black. But then I went to Nivas and y'all had bought all the matte black paint. You bought all of it. So we decided we'll just leave it like that because we bought all the paint. And we didn't have matte black paint anymore. So thanks, I guess. So yeah, that's how we came about this hallway thingy. Thingy. This hallway <laughs> makeover. So well before it's just empty so i'll just show you a bit of the before and then you are going to see i hope you remember what it looked like before when we did the empty house tour i hope i still have a clip on that and then this is what we ended up with Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And it's this is a very simple makeover. It's not like super intricate, super crazy. Just some simple things that you can do around your entryway just to spice it up and make it look cute. So yeah, um, tell me what you think of the, especially the pendant lighting because it's, it's like one of my favorite pieces ever. Ever, ever. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for spending your time with me. I do hope you are going to have a lovely week ahead. And I will see you back here next week with a new video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and the people you know and people who you think would like it. And yeah, so that's it from today. Bye.